Start the handle overflow task immediately when the dam capacity full signal is received. Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and this video is part of a series on BPMN and workflow patterns. Today we look at the transient trigger pattern. The ability for a task instance to be triggered by a signal from another part of the process or from the external environment. These triggers are transient in nature and are lost if not acted on immediately by the receiving task. A trigger can only be utilized if there is a task instance waiting for it at the time it is received. You can see the behavior in the original flash animation. Okay, in this uh, flash animation, which is actually quite interesting, we see that we have a trigger that we can fire. And if we fire it now, um, we, we can see that it's somehow lost. And if we start the process and we fire it before it has reached the last task, it will be lost. So now the process is stopped and we have to fire it again in order to enable the last task. In BPMN, we can model this either with an intermediate catching signal event or with an intermediate catching message event. We chose the latter because this is also mentioned in the workflow patterns book. So here we can see the process in BPMN. Um, we set up the dam monitoring and then we have an event-based gateway. And in the first place, uh, we receive the signal dam capacity full because we are waiting for this signal. And then the process instance is finished. In the second iteration, uh, again, we set up dam monitoring. And um, this time, we assume that the yearly maintenance is due. And now we perform the dam maintenance. And currently, we are not waiting for the dam capacity full signals. To show the transient nature of the trigger, we have also used an event-based gateway and assumed that once a year a dam maintenance is performed and during this time the process doesn't wait for the dam capacity full message to arrive. Thank you for watching.